What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. I have a really exciting drop from Axiom Discs today. I've got the brand new Fission Time Lapse. I have a particularly lightweight one. This one is embossed 158, and it also has a very nice and substantial dome on it. So my biggest complaints with the special edition time lapse and the prototype time lapse is that they were too flat and they were too stable. I drilled this one into the pavement a hundred times. So now it gets a little bit of turn in the mid flight, but it's still pretty overstable considering what I did to it. So we're gonna throw the prototype, we're gonna throw the first stock run, and then we're gonna throw the fission time lapse. But from what I've seen and what I heard, this is the people's time lapse that everybody's looking for, and it's way better than the other versions of it. So let's give the proto a throw. Just no flip up and turn. At this point, I don't see anybody bagging the original proto time lapses. They just, they just weren't very good. Then we had the special edition. A little bit of flip up and turn because I drilled it into the pavement a hundred times. Then we've got the 158 vision time lapse. I'm actually really excited to give this the first throw. Oh yeah, that's the one. That is exactly how everybody wanted the original time lapse to fly. Let's go grab it. We'll throw it back a few more times. That thing feels really nice. Nice little flip in the mid flight and then a little fade at the end. After my first impression, that might be the perfect time lapse. One other notable thing about this new Fission time lapse is it has that a little bit more premium glossy finish to it but it's got a much lower parting line, a much higher dome. Everything about this disc feels really premium. It looks amazing, super swirly rim, but it feels a little bit more glossy than other Fission discs that I own. Particularly my old Fission Photons don't have quite the glossy finish to them that this one does. We'll go Proto, we'll go first stock run, and then we'll go Fission. Beef Dog prototype. Very, very stable. You guys already know that. We'll throw this guy on a similar line. This is what it does if you drill into the pavement a hundred times. It goes into the water, gone forever. All right, we landed on the bridge, that's good. All right, we're gonna try and hit the left side of the fairway and get this fission guy to get a little bit of turn for us. Wow. Wowie. We caught a little bit of tree action on the way over to the right there. That was a really nice turn in the mid-flight. That time lapse is going to find its way into a lot of players' bags. If you haven't gotten one, go get one over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10. Save yourself 10% on your order. All right, let's give everything two more throws and we'll wrap up the video. Proto Stock Fission. so beefy it's amazing how much more stable the proto is than the fission <sighs> after like ruining that one it actually started flying pretty well and then we've got these fissions i'm gonna need to compare it to the strive because it seems to be going at least close to as far as my strive goes So on more hyzer, it's just gonna pick up to flat and still get a nice fade at the end. But even though it didn't turn all the way over and get a full turn, it still went really, really far. That thing is an awesome flyer and I'm actually really excited to test that out more. All right, last couple throws with everything. Let's, I still wanna do backhands. I really like how this is flying for me on the backhand. Proto, first stock release, Fission. Man, if you throw 80 miles an hour, you probably would love that proto run though. I throw roughly 60 to 64. Stock. Nice little bit of pickup. Not a full turn, but a nice hyzer flip. And then we've got 
the money time lapse. This is the best run of time lapse by far, and it's not even close. Oh, I messed it up. I did all that talking up of it and I early release it. All right, it's really hot. <laughs> I gotta come into the shade, make sure the camera does not overheat. The new Fission time-lapse, absolute money. And this is the first version of the time-lapse that did not leave me feeling disappointed. And I definitely think it's something worth going and picking one up and trying. And I know there's probably a lot of you guys that bought the prototype the first run or the special run and you you were you felt like you were disappointed about the performance of the disc because it was just a lot more stable than you expected it to be you will not have that problem with the fission time lapse and everything that was wrong with the time lapse if you get a lightweight fission one you're going to be able to get it up to speed you're going to be able to get it to either at least flip up to straight if you throw hard you're going to be able to get it to get a nice big full turn or if you release it on Anheuser or get it turning, it's going to stay on turn for a good long while, just like you saw on my second and third throws with it. Overall, it's a disc that I'm actually really excited to experiment more with. And I'm really excited that MVP and Axiom has finally figured out a way to add some dome to their drivers. Very early on, Simon would complain that MVP just doesn't make domey discs and dome is going to help your drivers go farther. Simon was not really throwing the time lapse much at all. He was throwing the dimensions and the deliriums. Every time it seems like a crucial situation, Lazat on lead card and he's throwing a driver, it was pretty much almost never the time lapse was at least my perception. Maybe that's not true, but you very rarely saw any of the MVP players throwing the time lapse except for James Conrad throws it when he needs something just absurdly overstable. So I have seen Conrad throw it a little bit on tour. I haven't really seen Simon promoting, you know, his flagship driver very much. So hopefully with these fission runs coming out, we'll see Lazat throwing those special edition proton runs. Maybe I'm excited to see what the future of the time lapse looks like because you have one of the most talented arms in the world, if not the most talented arm in the world with a custom flagship driver that he aided in the design. And up until this run, it hasn't been all that good. So our standards were really high, and I feel like a lot of people probably felt like they were burned by the first couple runs of the time lapse. You will not feel that way with the new run of the time lapse. Again, go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on your order over at their website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, everybody who supports my channel. We hit 20,000 subscribers. Here's to the next 20,000. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.